This is our camp at Gunlom Falls in uh, Kakadu National Park. Gunlom's a spot that we've read about months ago now and we've been hanging out for this one. We're going to take a walk up to the top of the plunge pools which I don't know if you'll be able to actually make up. Now I think through the trees straight in front of us up there. So we're going to walk up there. You can swim at the bottom, walk up the top, swim at the top come back down, swim at the bottom, probably be dinner time by then, what? maybe, don't know, it depends on how long we swim for. So got in here by about midday, left Edith Falls at about 8.30 in the morning, set up camp, we're doing good with that, leave camp early, get into camp early, got a half a day to just chill, go for a swim, check out the views. Pretty spectacular. This is what we're here for, Kakadu. It's a lower plunge pool at Gunlom Falls. Had a quick dip. It's a bit dark, a bit deep out there, so we're gonna go out too far to stay in the shallow water, I think, here. There are signs saying that it could be possible crocodiles. Kids don't seem to mind though. Mum, I'm bleeding. If I find a boss, then I can go. Mum, I'm bleeding. So from here we do the walk up to the top of the plunge pools, which you can see up there. That's where we're headed to next swim. This is the walk going up to the uh, top plunge pool at Gunlom Falls. It's a pretty steep, rocky walk. It's good fun, it's not too long. There's that view out there, eh? I think there are plenty of worse places to be right now. And this is where we're headed. Deep will climb up. Walking into Magook Waterfall, actually already been in once today, only about a kilometre walk from the car park, we've been in, had a swim, back out for some lunch, back in again, beautiful spot, good bit of rock hopping to do on the way in there, bit of fun, 
see you at the falls. It's a little bit busy here, but still I think it's going to be beautiful, beautiful looking spot. Apparently it's a Darwin long weekend for Capley King. But that's what we've got to swim in, so even with all these people, it's going to be well worth it. Swimming over to the falls. <laughs> Good morning, sort of from Magook Campground. Pancake breakfast for us. I think we'll be fair and a bit better than some around here this morning. A bit of a, a rodeo style party on last night here. We've made a bit of an error in judgment. We were at um, Gunlom Campground and we had someone come into camp on top of us there, being a bit rowdy, so we thought we'd go somewhere that would be a bit quieter, not realising that it was actually a long weekend in Darwin for Cup Weekend. And, well, it was pretty busy here. By 11.30 when we got into camp, it was pretty hard to find a spot. We managed to get a spot, spent the day at the falls and came back. There was definitely some fools down at the water there, drinking and jumping off the rocks and stuff. Driving in on top of cars. And then, of course, our back of the campground last night, up till all hours of the morning. With the country music playing, which we love country music. Not. We hate country music, it's terrible. But somehow I managed to sleep alright. In terms of I a camp like spot, me. not a bad spot. Just going to be interesting to see once this long weekend is over in Kakadu what it's actually like without all the crowds. So we had no idea we were coming in on a long weekend, but it is what it is. Here we are, we'll making the most of it. Heading into Jim Jim Falls this morning once we finish our pancake breakfast and pack up and we'll see you on the road somewhere. Yeah, nice Whoa. one. You're going to have to back up buddy. Just hike isn't it? Yeah. Any way? No. And it's straight back on the gas too. Yeah. Right? Just left the car at Jim Jim Falls car park and do the walk down to the falls. Yeah. Meant to be about a K, so here we go, eh? Looks pretty spectacular, the sandstone cliffs all around us. Is it sandstone? Yeah. Everything is sandstone around here. I always say that um, there could be saltwater crocodiles. I never actually say that it's completely safe. Because yeah. I suppose no one really wants to take that responsibility, do they? No one. Yeah. And the walk's starting to get a bit more rocky now. Watch where I put my feet. Yeah. 
I need some taco. What? I need what? some taco. Getting close to Jim Jim Falls now. You can see that's well, where the waterfall would be, just in front of us up there. There is a saltwater crocodile trap just over there. How you doing? Just had a sandal blow out, wouldn't you know it? No good at all. Double blow out. I don't know if that's going to be repairable. We'll hit it with the old super glue, but we'll see how we go.